With more and more cases and people traveling and getting together for the holidays, there's a surge in demand for testing. But finding a place to get tested can be challenging at times. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci stopped by the only one of Jacksonville city-run sites open today and saw long lines. A steady stream of cars at this testing site in Neptune Beach. It's one of the few open before the Christmas holiday, and it is busy. People are coming from everywhere. We're seeing them from, you know, South Florida all the way from Georgia. They're coming here to get tested. Telescope Health has been here for months, working as a contractor for the city, offering free screenings. Demand here at the COVID-19 testing center in Neptune Beach has spiked significantly in the past week. Days ago, managers say you could go right up, get your test, be in and out in just a couple of minutes. This afternoon, look at the line. It wraps around the former Kmart building, taking some people well over an hour to get their test. We have the ability to do well over 300 a day, and that's what we're, what we're planning to do today. They reached capacity around 1.30 this afternoon. With the Omicron variant being so contagious, physicians say people with symptoms need to be tested right away. So it is very important for patients during this time of the year that have respiratory symptoms to be seen and tested to make sure that they're not harboring this infection and potentially passing it on to a loved one. Dr. Saman Soleimani says cases are increasing rapidly locally. And if you test positive, quarantine for a minimum of seven to 10 days. Stay away from others until you test negative. Finally, he says, drink lots of water and take vitamins. In Neptune Beach, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. And as we said, most of the city-run testing sites were closed today. The Clansell T. Brown Community Center, Lane Wiley Community Center, Emmett Reed Community Center, and Cuba Hunter Community Center were all closed. The Beaches Center, which was the only one open, conducted 385 tests today. All of these sites are closed tomorrow and through the weekend. They're scheduled to reopen on Monday. There are other pharmacies and medical providers, though, offering testing around the area as well. And you'll find that list in the coronavirus section of newsforjax.com.